Well, it was a snowy start to the week and lighter amounts of snow fell in our far northern counties just around an inch in Rochester, Winnemac and also Morocco around 4.2 inches in Lafayette and the highest totals fell in Montgomery County just around six inches in Crawfordsville and seven inches reported in Waveland from the snow this morning. That system is moving out and now we're left with cloud cover during the overnight hours and we do have a chance for a few light flurries as well. Something to keep in mind and also the roadways may be slick at times if you head to church tomorrow morning so that's also something to keep in mind and then we'll also start the day with mostly cloudy skies and then also a breezy sun Sunday's in store for us. Wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour from the northwest possible. And that's because we have an Arctic front moving through the area and that will allow colder temperatures to return. We're expecting low temperatures by Monday morning up to 10 below zero in some locations. But this afternoon we had a high of 30 degrees in Lafayette this afternoon and temperatures 27 degrees. They haven't dropped too much and that's because of the cloud cover over the area. Mostly cloudy skies winds from the west at three miles per hour and the wind chill just around 23 degrees. Currently 28 in Kokomo, 26 degrees in Rossville and still 29 degrees in Fowler and Rensselaer at this hour with temperatures slowly dropping overnight. 21 by 2 o'clock in the morning, 20 by 3 and we should eventually fall into the teens by 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning. Overnight low of 16 in Lafayette, 15 Remington and Fowler, 16 for an overnight low in Williamsport, and then we'll drop to 18 degrees in Crawfordsville with temperatures not rebounding too much. Tomorrow will be a much colder day. Only high of 20 degrees by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, but notice the clouds will decrease throughout the day. We should turn partly cloudy by tomorrow afternoon. High of 19 in Winnemac, 18 Rochester, 21 for high in Frankfurt and then 21 degrees in Covington. So we'll start up our high res future cast again tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning. Still dealing with cloud cover during the morning hours and then they'll start to decrease a bit just around 7 o'clock in the evening Sunday as high pressure settles into the area will eventually turn mostly clear, mostly sunny skies expected for Monday, but it'll be a much colder start to the day. Seven below zero for the actual air temperature Monday morning, six below in Delphi, and then two below up around Winnemac, and only a high of nine for Monday. Rebound at 23 degrees Tuesday, staying in the 20s for Tuesday and Wednesday, and then drop once again into the teens by Thursday, and then high of 18 by next Friday. But tonight we will drop to 16 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, and then a chance for a few light flurries. And the winds are expecting to pick up tomorrow afternoon. Wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour possible, only high of 20 degrees tomorrow afternoon. We should stay dry through Monday. Another system moves in Tuesday, bringing us a chance for a few light snow showers. Not expecting too much from this system. It's going to be a weak clipper, bringing us a chance for light snow. 23 for a high Tuesday, dropping to 8 Tuesday night, Wednesday morning morning and then temperatures return into the teens by Thursday and Friday of this week and then we have temperatures also going to return into the